All right, welcome everyone. We are um, on uh, day 15 in the Voice of the Martyrs. And the scripture reading for today is Isaiah 61 3. <clears throat> to grant to those who mourn in Zion, to give them a beautiful headdress instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the garment of praise instead of a faint spirit, that they may be called oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Islamic extremism shows itself in a myriad of ways. Our hearts break when we read stories such as the one of John and Mary's son, only two, who was murdered and then, grief upon grief, photographed and brashly displayed on a Taliban website. The extremism continued with the murders, with the murderers by John's father of most of the other fam family members who professed Christ. Wait a minute, let, let, let me back up. The extremism continued with the murderers by John's father of most of the other family members who professed Christ. And then Mary's father killed his wife with rat poison for her role in helping John and Mary leave Afghanistan. Before they escaped Afghanistan, Afghanistan Mary was expecting their second child because she wouldn't bow to the wishes of her father to abort the baby or at least give him an Islamic name, her father beat Mary with a punch with punch after punch on her pregnant belly. That was after he slammed her to the floor and shattered her teeth. Then both fathers dragged her limp body to the bunker where her husband was held. After their escape out of Afghanistan, John and Mary bore the brunt of more anguish. The doctor told them that the baby Mary was carrying was dead and that Mary would die too unless the fetus was removed. They had no money for the procedure, but they had God in prayer. Can you imagine the fervency of their prayers and their joy when the shock doctor told them on, told them on their return visit that their baby was alive? He declared, how is this possible? And pronounced it a miracle. That miracle led others in the doctor's office to Christ, more souls saved for eternity. Months later, Mary gave birth to a healthy baby boy, God's gift of refreshing joy in the midst of a desert of sorrows. Going deeper. Our minds strain to understand such rad uh, radicalism, such hate, such evil that John and Mary experienced from their own fathers. Yet God's light shone even in the midst of such darkness. A baby declared dead was brought back to life, and because of that miracle, others were born into God's kingdom. Are you in need of a miracle? Are you tempted to think that miracles happen only to others or, or perhaps to only those in other countries? Take heart that our God is almighty, which means that he has absolute power over all things. Prayerfully bring him your every need and concern. Like our brave brothers and sisters in Christ, you can trust our almighty God of unlimited power. In the closing prayer. Our dear Lord, we are so apt to question and doubt you when things don't go our way. And then we hear a fellow believer such as John and Mary and shake our heads in wonderment at their steadfast faith. We pray that their example in the midst of fiery trials will only fuel our desire to remain true to you. Thank you for every Christian in nations dominated by Islam. Help them stay strong in you. Provide for their every need. Help us walk with you in the same humility and trust, no matter how extreme our situation. Amen. Okay, so that, that, that was very sobering. Very, very sobering. But praise God that their, their second child lived. All right, so that will uh, do it for um, this video reading through um, day 15. So until the next video, take care and be blessed.